All right. We are good to go now. So we have 58 people already on the call. Wow. Um, my name is Pastor Mike, once again, super excited to be here. Um, don't want um, to be distracted in any way. We've got to go. I welcome everyone to this wonderful training. We always have this every Saturday. So we are happy to be here once again. Uh, we thank God for what God is really, really, really doing in our business. We are grateful to uh, Cash FS. We are grateful to what God is doing. So uh, what we are looking at this morning is the psychology of building a profitable business system. You know, all I just want you guys to know is that success is a game of mentality. It is a game of mentality. Uh, I've seen a lot of folks that have tried to succeed. They've tried all the cool. They've run for pillar to post. They've laid their hand on different kinds of things here and there, but to no avail. But I tell you, it's all about the mentality you have. We are in the era of mind power, not man power. We are in the era of mind power. We are no longer in the era of manpower, guys. So if you must win the game of life, you must pay attention to developing your mindset, to developing your mentality. So we are going to look at this psychology. Then we will go into looking at a unilevel uh, building. We'll talk a little bit about the practical side as well. You know, we have to keep talking and talking and learning about building all the way. We have to keep learning about building all the way. Because it's all about learning how to build a business system. OK. We'll look at the theoretical side, then we'll come back to look at the practical side. So let's roll, guys. This is um, already 9.45. So we've waited 15 minutes uh, for some people so we can, we can roll now. Let's go to the first one. Last week, we had um, a wonderful topic as well. I think the three A's, you know, and we talked about an attitude, atmosphere, and your activities. I said your attitude determines your altitude. Your attitude determines your altitude. So we looked at attitude as very, very vital because one of my mentors said attitude is everything in life. And I've studied success. I've been a student in the School of Success now over 20 years now that I've started my own business, I left Dunlop Nigerian PLC. I walk away, throwing the towel and walk away. My boss said, why are you leaving? I said, I want to go and start my own business. I chose to retire very, very early in life. And because my mentor said, if I retire young, I will retire rich. So I retired very early in life. So I chose to pursue the adventurous life, to pursue entrepreneurship, not because of the money I want to make, but for the lives I want to change. Life is not about income. Life is about impact. So if you choose to change your mindset from pursuing what you want and helping others to get what they want, everything around your life will turn around to the 60 degree. So we're looking at the, uh, this uh, psychology of building a business system. I want you to know, guys, you must understand the rule of the game. So 
Um, let me let me let me just give us uh, that preamble for last week. Also, I said attitude is very important. I found out something that can change my life. I did not just throw in the towel in Dunlop. I I started learning when I knew that that um, I mean I was just passing through Dunlop. I knew I was born to be an entrepreneur. So, but I passed through, guys. So, but in the process, before I threw in the towel, I started learning how the rich become rich. I read a lot of books written by multi-millionaires, billionaires. One of my mentors, um, Mike uh, Mudok, said, if you have not read a book, if you haven't read a book that is equal to the number of your age, books written by multi-millionaires, billionaires, he said, you may likely not to become a millionaire in life. So <laughs> I read so many books. So many series of Robert Kiyosaki, Cash Flow, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Cash Flow, Quadrant. I mean, if, if you retire young, you will retire rich. And so many others, guys. I read uh, from Anthony Robbins, you know, Awakening the Giant Within You. I read John Maxwell, so many, so many other books like that. I have a library because if you can show me your library, I can point you to your future. That's the truth. If you can show me your library, then I can point you to your future. So that's it. If you if you are the type that is always carrying books, you will become uh, a, 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 a notable over time. So we talked about attitude. Attitude is very, very important. What kind of attitude you have is going to determine how far you will go in life. Number two, we also talked about atmosphere. And I used an example of a, 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 a situation where somebody who owns an aquarium called a, a vet doctor to come and treat uh, the fish in the aquarium. And the vet doctor said, you know what? We don't need to tamper with the fish. We just need to treat the water. Say so once I treat the water, the fish will get well. And that was exactly what he did. Environment will determine, we make or mar you, period. The environment you put yourself will make or mar you in life. Stay among the poor. You are the next poor person. I tell you, stay with the winners. You are the next winner. So the environment you find yourself will determine the future that you will have for yourself. I, I gave an example of myself, how I was moving with boys that, I mean, quote and unquote, they are not uh, showing the, 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 uh, um, the picture of people who are where they are going in life. How I saw another guy that, that has a promising future and I had to change my friend because if your ch friends can't change you, change your friends, guys. If your friends can't change you, you better change your friends. So I changed them. I joined uh, with the other guy. And of, of course, and he taught me how he was actually doing it. And that changed my life, turned around my life today. So you must know that success has a blueprint, guys. The only thing that will make you successful is to become an instruction addict, to become somebody who is ready to learn and who is ready to obey. You know, I have always tell people, it's not just important for you. You know, it's, it's always sweet when you find 7,400 people coming on the leadership training. But guess what? Among the 100 people, it's only one or two that will be having results. And it will be only one or two that are applying the information that they, they have. So if you are not ready to be disciplined, to do what you know, you might not have results. One of my mentors said, it's not what you know that matters. It is what to do with what you know. Information, I mean, it says success is an information acted upon. Success is an information acted upon. So, guys, you must be ready to follow the, 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 the principles. Follow the principles that we are teaching you. First, work on your attitude. You must have the right attitude. If you want to succeed, you must be disciplined. You must be ready to, 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 to obey instruction and all those stuff. Attitude one, number two, atmosphere. And number three is 
your activities. There are a lot of people who think that in this world is just a game of try your luck. Some people are still living life up to today that all they think is that it's just one day, one day, something will happen. Some people even think that successful people get lucky in life. <laughs> well, what I will tell them is this. If you think successful people get lucky, you, you may be trying your own. But let me say this. We don't get lucky, we get lucky. We don't get lucky, we get lucky. If you want to be lucky in life, put in the work. Then you get lucky in life. So how the luck comes is through the work ethics. Work ethics and belief. Work ethics and belief. So you can raise your income by raising your activities. I mentioned it last week. When I started Cash FS, boom, I do one radio advert. The little money coming, boom, I moved to two. Little money coming, boom, three in a week, four in a week. As I move my activity, I move my income. As I move my activities, I move my income. So that's it. If you raise your activities and your momentum, you can also raise your income. So those are the areas we covered last week. And the three A's that you need to build a business, a, 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 a business system, the three A's. This week, we are looking at the psychology, the mentality of building a business system. So the first one we're going to be looking at here is number one, it is about leadership plus vision. Leadership plus vision. I must tell you guys, you can see, I don't know, you can see a man who has a vision, but is not a leader. But you can never see a leader without a vision. I mean, true leader has vision. True and genuine leaders has vision. If you see true and genuine leader, you will always see them talking about vision, 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 vision. But there are so many people who, have, who become emergency leader. What they consider to be leadership is just by having two or three people that are following them. Most especially in multi-level marketing, people believe that once they can register two or three people under them, they have become a leader. They will be giving themselves name, I'm also a leader. No, that's not what makes a leader, guys. If you are a leader, you will have a vision. I used to say something that the characteristics, <clears throat> I put it this way, the quality, the indispensable quality of a leader is vision. The indispensable quality of a leader is vision. The indispensable function of a leader is sharing the vision. Our vision here is from day one that we started, I brought out this vision for my team, even when we did not even know how it's going to come to pass. Sometimes a lot of people think that successful people know how. I've seen a lot of people that will dis discover an opportunity and they will be asking questions. They want to know everything before they start. They are looking for the holes in the donut rather than looking at the donuts. Instead of them jumping into an opportunity that is, is viable, they will use two, three, four, five, six months. They are still there asking questions. They are waiting for perfection. No, 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 guys. No, that's not it. I brought the vision and I told my team, our vision is to impact 1 million families financially, globally. Boom. And we started. I never even know how the vision will come to pass. I only believe because successful people believe before they see. Unsuccessful people believe 
They want to see before they believe. Successful people always believe before they see. That's why I, I was sharing the vision, sharing the vision, sharing the vision. And then we're using Valley Front View Hotel in Tony Street, Ikeja. And yet I was having a vision with my team to impact 1 million families financially, globally. But we were just in one location in Ikeja. But guess what? As we kept moving and moving and moving, and boom, we came to a point. COVID-19 forced us to move from physical location to Zoom. And then we got on the Zoom. And then before you know it, we were able to bring in people into the business all over the globe. All over the globe. With team in Ghana, in Liberia, in Libya, in Gabon, South Africa. Spain, Italy, Indonesia, Norway, somebody calling yesterday from Belgium, Cyprus, Poland, Dublin, UK, US. And the vision is speaking right now. So that is what true and genuine leaders does. True and genuine leader, that's what they do. That's what true and genuine leaders do, guys. Leadership plus vision. Now, you cannot separate leadership from vision. Just the same way you cannot separate body from the spirit. You can't be a leader without a vision. It doesn't have to be the personal vision you have. If a leader cast a vision, everyone runs with the vision. People don't follow people, people follow the vision. They can buy into your leadership, but they follow your vision. And I was describing last week how our vision became reality or is still becoming reality. It was just by sharing and sharing and sharing each time I'm presenting, I, I said indispensable quality of a leader is sharing the vision. I mean, function, indispensable function of a leader is sharing, the, and I kept sharing the vision, and boom, the team were moving with the vision. Can I register my brother in South Africa? Can I register my brother in Germany? Can I register my sister in Canada? Can I register my uncle in UK? Why? Because the leader kept sharing the vision. That's the function of a leader. And people follow the vision. So leadership, plus vision, you can't separate them, it's like body and spirit, they work together, guys. So if you're a leader, once you know our vision, you must always tell your team, our vision is to impact 1 million families financially, globally. As you are saying it, somebody is connecting to a brother abroad. And the next question is, I cannot register my brother in UK. But if you are not sharing the vision, your team may not follow the vision. So I mentioned that if you must win and build a business system, you must step into leadership, guys. There is no other way around it. To build a business system, you must step into leadership. Leadership is a game changer in your life. Leadership is a game changer in your life. Leadership places no more limits on your income. Leadership kills competition in your life. A lot of people don't know that leadership has no competition. I've seen a lot of people that will call me and say, you know what, this social company, they are doing this, that social, com social company, they are doing that. We're supposed to also do the same. I said, no. <laughs> Somebody that knows where he's going does not follow others to where they are going. It's not possible for me to be going to Abuja. I know right from my house before moving out that I'm going to Abuja. I now enter a car that is taking me to Abuja. Then I saw that on the way going, somebody dropped in Shagam, another person dropped in the Badon. And maybe we are about six. And I see maybe about two or three drop in the Badon. And I say, oh, you know what? I think I better get down here. 
when I know that I'm going to Abuja, no. Leadership has no competition. Once you add the vision, vision equals destination. Vision is you seeing the end from the beginning, knowing where you are going. That's vision. You know where you are going. You don't follow others. Someone drop in Shagam, someone drop in Ibadan, someone drops on the road. You, you keep your cool because you know the destination ever before you take off. That's why most leaders who know what they are doing, they don't panic. They don't have any, any confusion. They are not doing try your luck. They know where they are going. They don't look at what other leaders are doing because vision equals destination. You know where you are going. You don't look at others that are going to different destinations. Leadership has no competition. Leadership is no competition. Leadership is vision. You must have a clear vision of what you want to achieve if you are a leader. In fact, you don't have a vision after you have started. You have vision before you start. You must have vision before you start. You don't need to be the one that casts the vision. You can buy into a vision that is already existing. Everybody keep telling everyone, all the leaders, you tell your team, our vision is to impact 1 million families financial. It's, a, it's, a, it's our vision. You, you take it into your mouth. When you are doing your physical seminar in your office, you say it. You don't know who might pick that, that function. You don't know who is in your seminar that has somebody in Germany, in Canada, in UK. You just say, our vision is to impact 1 million families financially, globally. Boom. Somebody will just tell you, I have somebody in Canada. That's how it was, guys. Your function is sharing the vision. Number two thing we are going to consider is this. You must have a burning desire. Guys, success does not come cheap. I tell you guys, success is as a result of you having a burning. I didn't say you should have a desire. I say you must have a burning desire. You must have a burning, burning desire, guys. <laughs> if I tell you my story, I have a lot of stories, guys. One thing I know is that you, if you have no story, you, have, you will have no glory. If you have no stories in life, you will have no glory. Some people don't like to pass through the story aspect. You say, you know, I've done this before. I've done that before. We did this. This one failed. That one failed. And they are lying their past to stop their future. You must have story if you are going to have glory. So you need a burning desire. Let me tell you, when I left Dunlop, I failed in four businesses. I didn't leave the lot to start multi-level marketing. I, in fact, I did not know that I, there is even multi-level marketing around us. But I read it in one of the books of Robert Kiyosaki. But I never knew there is such a thing in Nigeria as a day. So I left to build my business as an entrepreneur and I was willing to fail. Don't think that I left the law because they paid me big money. In fact, I didn't live with any entitlement. You can't resign at, at 10 years and expect the company to pay you any big entitlement. No, I knew there was not going to be any big money, but I was ready to live without any money. Why? My mentor said, I don't need money to make money. And I believed. I always believe anything my mentor tells me. He said, you don't need money to make money. Wow. So I, I started reading and reading. I now discovered, he said, I need knowledge. Knowledge is a capital. So when I got the knowledge, my brains open up, my brain open up and, and, and yes, I now know that 
truly I can make money without money. I understand different ways by which I can make money without any money through knowledge. Up to today, there are some people who will still argue that statement. How do I make money without money? A lot of ways, guys. A lot of ways. You can make money without money. <laughs> Once you have an idea, money can come. And I can give you one example. I know there are many. For instance, if you are an entrepreneur, you know what it takes to be an entrepreneur. You have the mentality, you develop your mindset and give yourself all the knowledge, the discipline, the doggedness, the determination, everything that you need to learn, you have it. You can, I can make money from zero. Any moment now, I can make money without money. For instance, let's assume you have somebody that has a car to sell. You, and you know that person very well. You go to the person, you want to sell this car, you say, yes, okay, fine. What if I get to a buyer? He said, ah, no problem, I want to sell it. Okay, how much is the last price? You negotiate and everything. And then you market the, the, the product as if you have the product. You just connect a, a buyer to seller. Now you know the car is two million naira and you market it. By the time you get a buyer, you take them, you show them the car and everything. You negotiate with the buyer outside the, 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 uh, the, uh, the, uh, the owner. You do the negotiation, but you know the, the, the price the, of the car is two million and maybe the buyer pays you 2.5 million. Boom. You've just made yourself 500,000 Naira. Have you not seen people who, who, who started selling property? They get to know people, someone who wants to sell his house. They find out the price. They get the buyer, connect the buyer to the seller and they make cool 1 million, 2 million from that transaction. You can make money without money. How did I turn $300 to $100,000? Because I know I can make money without money. Because the $300 is near insignificant. But because of, I know that that $300 is not what will make me the $100. It's just a seed to plug into the business. I knew that it was not the money that will make me money. I saw more than $300 before I plugged in. So you need a burning desire. You need a strong belief. If you are going to win big in life, you are not to believe like others. The bigger your belief, the greater your achievements in life. You must believe bigger. You must not dream small. You must be dreaming of something big, big, big. Let me tell you, the car I'm riding right now, I dreamt about the car when I did not have even the money to buy the car. The, the, the price of the car is far away from what I have in my bank account. But guess what? I have to believe before I see. What did I do? Because a lot of you just think that everything is by running around. You don't have any belief. And what you don't believe, you can't become. There was no money anywhere. Throughout last year, I didn't do any, any business. I stepped down technically from the business I was doing before. From January to December, it was as if I was not having anything doing. I started praying to God to give me a win-win business. I was tired of pushing a business that I was making money and my people are not happy, they are not making money. So I told God, I said, I want a win-win business. I want a business that will make money and they will make money. If they are happy, it's when I'm happy. If they are not happy, I'm not happy. And God answered my prayer, January ending this year, through February. But about three years back, Three or four years or so, I think three years. Let me say three years. I dreamt of the, the a car I love. 
I was not looking at my pocket or my bank account. I have a strong desire to have the car. I have a strong belief to have the car. I was not looking at money. Then I took actions. What was the action? You may not get what you want in life, but you will always get what you picture in life. I went straight, I got good, I brought out the picture of the car, I dropped it on my, uh, what do they call it now, flash drive. I went straight and print the picture of the car out and I pasted it in all my rooms. Even though you do not get what you want in life, you must always get what you picture in life. And I pasted it everywhere, three years ago. And I kept on with my life. I wake up, I see it. As I'm talking to you, the picture is there. I'm about to change it to the new one now that will soon come very, very soon. Even though I know that very soon, it's not because the money is, is available now, because it's a bigger car, guys. It's a bomb. But guess what? We don't look at the present. We look at the vision. What do you want in the future? That's the vision. So I went into action, not because the money was ready. I caught the picture. I got the, the art copy. How many of you, Christian, on this call, you have had the definition of faith? Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. We have had this word in the church. Many pastors have preached about it. Many bishops have preached about it, but not many of them really understand the in-depth of that statement. If I ask you for your faith, you will tell me I cannot see it. But the scripture says, faith is a substance. Faith is an evidence of something we are not seeing. Now, I had to make out the hard copy of what I have faith that I will get in the near future. I don't know when. Faith is an evidence. So the evidence of my faith, I brought the hard copy out. I pasted it. So the evidence that I have faith that I will have that car is on my wall. It's on my wardrobe. It's in my, in, in my uh, 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 bathroom. That's the substance. Faith is, a, is an evidence of something not seen. You cannot see my faith, but you can see the evidence of my faith in that hard copy of that car. The evidence of, of something that you do not see, that is faith. There are a lot of people who are saying, I have faith, I have faith. They cannot even bring out the evidence of their faith. It's a fake faith they have. As they are saying they have faith, at one side they are doubting it. I brought out evidence of my faith. The house, I will leave it very soon now that is around the corner with swimming pool and everything. The evidence is on my wall, guys. He said, faith has evidence. Faith has substance. All those faith, fake faith you are carrying about that nobody can see the evidence, they are not real faith, guys. If you have faith, there must be evidence of your faith. I have a hard copy of a phone I want to use. That time, I, I still brought the hard copy. Phone, cars, houses, and all those stuff, guys but they have come to pass now. I've dreamt another dream. Just like Joseph dreamt another dream, I have dreamt another dream. There is now a picture of a new car that is hanging now. That's the evidence of my faith that I'm going to get it. So you must go into action. There are some of you, what am I, I, I mean, describing all this for you? Because some people think that there is nothing they can do if they don't have money. And that's not true. There are actions that you can take even when the money is not yet there. There are actions. You can sell what you don't have. You can believe what you don't have. You don't need money to believe 
a, a, for a car that you cannot afford. You don't need money to believe for a house you cannot afford. That one does not need money in your pocket or your bank account. That is actions. Once you have faith, move, guys. Don't look at the money. Bring out the evidence and begin to believe. That's actions. And it equals success. The car has become a testimony now because I, I have a burning desire. I have a strong belief. I took action and now it is a success. You must be willing to work extremely hard. You know, I've seen a lot of people who talk to me, say, Pastor Mike, I can't understand how you are doing this thing. <laughs> what people call abnormal becomes my normal, guys. What some people see as, an, as, as abnormal is my own normal. They wonder how you are working so hard and you are not tired. Where are you getting the energy from? It's from the Holy Spirit, though, but it's also from my belief. I believe that your success is a function of your work ethics. You must work extremely hard. I'm not saying you must work hard. I say you must work extremely hard. Hard work brings profit. I saw it in my scripture, guys. Hard work brings profit. So do you want profit? Do you want money? Do you want affluence? Do you want fortune? You must work very, very hard. You must work very, very hard, tirelessly. You must work tirelessly. Don't stay on the comfort zone. Stay permanently in this comfort zone. Get busy, guys. Get productive. Don't stay idle. I love one of my mentors that said that they treat idleness as a disease in their family. They treat idleness as a disease. You are not permitted to be lazy, to be idle. Work extremely hard. Technically, you may not be broke, but in your mind, you have to stay broke. This is the mentality that works. Don't have 10,000 Naira in your bank account and you are feeling like a, 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 a superman. You have 100,000, you have 1 million, you are feeling like a superman. They call you to join Cash FS. You look at the people there as if they don't have jobs. You know, all those guys don't have jobs. They are jobless. They will always be calling you to, to, to come and well, go and bring people, go and bring people. You look down on them, guys, because you just have one million deposited somewhere in your bank account. Guys, you must stay broke in your mind. You must keep pushing to increase your income. Add zero to the last figure. Pursue it. That's your new normal. Add zero. It's your dream to make nine million a year at zero, make it 90 million. Stay broke and work towards it, guys. Money is the answer to all your problems. Money comes from solving problems. Let me tell you, uh, yesterday I ran uh, to 12, I was looking at one of our WhatsApp group and some folks were just dis 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 discussing, but I chose not to participate. Saying, you know, so, so there are a lot of people that have not joined Cash FS because of our registration. Somebody said the registration is so complicated. Another person said, no, it's not complete. They were arguing and arguing. I, I just laughed. And somebody said, many prospects don't join Cash FS because of the, re the registration is complicated. I just laugh. There is nothing complicated about our registration. Everything works according to your mindset. If you say it is easy, it is easy. If you say it is hard, it is hard. If you say you can, you can. If you say you can't, you can't. But this is the truth. For anyone who runs away from solving problems will never be counted among the wealthy. Money is a solution. If you are looking at something as a problem, and he said, many people did not join because of this, because of that. I laugh. That's why they cannot be rich. 
anybody who say, I am not joining because of this, because of that, then he will remain, will stay poor. He is going to stay poor because if you are going to make money, you must adjust your mind that it is a game of problem solving. To make money in this world is a game. Is, you can't negotiate it out. You must be prepared to solve problems all the way. To make money, you must be prepared to solve problems all the way, guys. If you are the type that, that, that is afraid of crisis, you are afraid of problem, you want to run away from problem because of this. Be, I've, I've listened to one leader who said, because when I register people, you know, I used to have some challenges. That's why I, I stopped registering people. That's why I stopped. What, what? Can you imagine? Some will even tell you because of an authenticator, because of, what kind of mindset do you have? You don't understand that to make money, it's about solving problems for people. I'm going to say when I wake up in the morning, I get to my office, 8 a.m., I solve problem till I reside back to my house. I solve problem throughout the day. Money making is problem solving. You've got to adjust your mind. Let's roll. You must take 100% responsibility. You must take 100% responsibility. You cannot blame anyone for your results. You cannot blame anyone for your results. You can't blame the company. You can't blame your upline. You can't blame Buhari. You can't blame your, your, your parents. You can't blame your teacher. You cannot blame anyone in this life for your result. Until you resolve that in your mind, you will never, never be a success. You are the only one responsible for your results in life. Once you settle that, then you begin to change your financial future. You must be willing to do whatever it takes for you to deserve to be at the top. You must be willing to do whatever it takes, guys. You must be willing to do whatever it takes. It's not going to come on a platter of gold. Success is not cheap. If you are going to add the price, you must pay the price. How I love to enjoy myself. How I love not to zoom in the morning, zoom in the evening. How I love to just be enjoying all the money, guys. It's part of the deal. You are going to enjoy, but inside the enjoyment, you must keep putting in the work. The moment you stop attracting income, you are going down. Nothing means retreating. I met someone yesterday that was telling me, you know, Pastor, I'm, 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 I'm broke now. I'm broke. So I need to do something very, very fast now. In fact, I found myself in a situation that I must, I must find something to do. I must, you know, you have been hearing you saying that we, we must stay idle. I mean, we must, we must stay productive. We must stay productive. He said that your word was just ringing in my bed and my, my head. He said, I've now found out that I just have to get into something. And, and he told me, I'm starting something. I'm starting something. Guys, you cannot stay at the middle. There is no in-between in life. Is it that you are growing or you are diminishing? Is it that you are growing up or you are going down? There is no in-between in life, guys. Once you stop building, you are going down. Is it that you are growing up or you are going down? There is no in between. Let me tell you, if you have five million in your bank account and you are no longer pushing, you are already going down. You may think that all is well, you know, all is well. You are spending the money you made. You are just um, flangering around and you, you are just, you are no longer working, but you are spending the money. You are enjoying pleasure and all those stuff. Guys, you are already going down. You must stay on top of your game. If you must enjoy, you do the work and you are enjoying at the same time. I ride a car of my choice now, but I'm still busy pushing to, to make income. 
But if I say, oh, you know, I've made the money, so I don't need to do all this Zoom again. Let me just be sleeping and be whining. and be... Guys, one day you discover that all the money is gone. You must do whatever it takes if you must deserve to stay at the top. I always make this statement. It takes 25% to go from the bottom to the top, and it takes 75% to stay at the top. Do you know why? You need discipline. You need dangerous and serious discipline. Because the moment you have millions rolling in your account, there is a temptation for you to say, I don't want to join the Zoom again. I want to rest. I want to go to the beach. I want to take my family out. I want to go to Dubai. Guys, temptation will come. And here is it. If you pursue pleasure in life, you cannot be rich. I've seen it in my scripture. Those who love pleasure will never be rich. Those who love pleasure will never be rich. The moment you switch from pursuing pain to pursuing pleasure, you will be going down financially. I'm not saying when you are making money, you should not go to Dubai, you should not go to US, you should not go to UK, you should not go to uh, a, a, a beach and all those stuff. What I'm saying is that while you are doing all that, you must keep putting in the work. <laughs> the mindset is I am fully responsible. You must put in the work. Get frustrated when you know that you are not living up to your potential. Get frustrated when you know you are not living up to your potential. You are not making money and you are comfortable. One of my mentors said, what you don't want, you don't wash. You are seeing poverty in your life. You can't pay your bills. You can't pay your house rent. You can't take care of your children. You can't take care of your wife. You can't put food on the table. You can't wear good clothes. You can't ride good cars. Guys, and then you are you are just okay. You are just taking everything cool, guys. <laughs> Let me tell you what you don't confront, you don't conquer. Whatever you don't confront, you cannot conquer. I I confronted poverty and I conquered poverty. So you must make up your mind that you don't want poverty in your life. You must be extremely coachable. You must be extremely coachable. Success is a game of monkey see, monkey do. My mentor told me this. In anything I want to do in life, the first thing is to find out, is there anybody who has succeeded in it before? Once I find that person, the problem is half solved. What do I do? I look at what the person is doing and I copy him. Success is a game of monkey see, monkey do. You copy what you see your mentor do. Jesus Christ said, I do not do whatever I like. I do what I see my mentor do. I do what I see my mentor do. I see what I, what I do what I see my father do. So success is a game of monkey see, monkey do. When you see what your Mentor is doing, you copy what your mentor is doing. To succeed in life, you must become a copycat, but you must copy the right cat. Copy the right cat because there are so many people out there that are actually copying the wrong cat, guys. Copying the wrong cat. Some are copying the wrong cats. Your success is a function of your teachability index. That is your willingness to learn multiplied by your willingness to change. Your teachability index is your willingness to learn multiplied by your willingness to change. Let me say this. 
as an emphasis. Anybody you find at the top, they are the most humble people. If you find any rich man, I'm not talking of people who do things that are not legal, morally, ethically, legally. If you see somebody that does anything to get to the top to become rich by doing something legally, morally, and ethically, is a very humble man. Majority of people don't know it. They are those who strictly follow instructions. Anybody that you see that is a success in any walks of life, but it's not those who did criminal things. They are humble people. If they don't follow instruction, they can never be successful. So I always say that for you to succeed, become an instruction addict. If you are ever going to succeed, you must become an instruction addict. If you are going to succeed, you must become an instruction addict. You must become an instruction addict, guys, if you want to succeed. If you are going to succeed, you must become an instruction addict. All right, we are going to go to something we are going to look at some practical side um quickly uh, what am i going to do now okay we, we are looking at the the practical side like i said Without any previous experience, the platform touches two very significant trends. The first is e-learning or online learning, which is projected to be a $325 billion market by the year 2025. This industry has seen significant growth between 2001 and 2000. Sorry. That's not the video I want us to watch. Sorry, just one minute. Okay. Pushed further and further away from millions of people. Record business closures and massive global layoffs are pushing people's budgets to the breaking point and having a dramatic effect on their quality of life. Many people are being forced to survive on credit, paying today's bills with tomorrow's wages. This is a guaranteed path to financial disaster. Are you currently enjoying the lifestyle that you're working so hard to achieve? In contrast to these statistics, the wealthiest of our populations increase their net worth year after year, and they're able to accelerate their wealth during economic downturns. How is this possible? Financially experienced people put wealth building principles to work for them, rather than trading their time for a wage. In the following video, we'll introduce you to two of these powerful principles and show you how you can get them working for you right away. At CFX, we believe the opportunity to create financial abundance is the right of every person. A better life can begin now. Start your journey with us today. It will be the most empowering change you've ever made.
There's more opportunity for financial success in the world today than ever before in history. Towns, cities, countries, and continents, all connected by a global network, giving everyone access to unlimited information and to each other. Despite all this opportunity, there's an ever-growing earning gap between the wealthy elite and the vast majority of people. A determination to succeed is a prerequisite for creating wealth, but determination alone is not enough. There are many important financial principles wealthy parents teach their children to create an early success mindset. Two of these principles are also key in building a strong and successful CFX business. The first principle is to build a system-focused business. An effective system will both minimize and simplify your work. In fact, an effective system will do much of your work for you, which is especially important when building a part-time business where your free hours may be limited. The CFX Success From Home system includes three short videos on a dedicated web page, making sharing each of these videos extremely easy. If you prefer to use a live CFX meeting, there are multiple Zoom presentations almost every day of the week. Soon, the resource section in your back office will contain more detailed training of this system and how to master each of these details. Simplicity is key. A simple system is much easier to teach than a complex system. And this fact plays an important role on the speed of growth of your business. Financial principle number two is leverage. Critical to any significant success is the ability to leverage oneself. To escape the trading time for money model taught in schools and universities globally. Trading your time for a paycheck is potentially the worst of all financial traps. The exception, of course, is if you've chosen a career that you absolutely love. The majority of people invest too many hours sacrificing over jobs or careers they dislike. Fortunately, leveraging a system means that freeing up your time and finances may be possible much sooner than you think. In business, one may leverage time or money. This particular strategy will focus on leveraging time, primarily because everyone has the same amount of it. We may prioritize differently, but we all have the same 168 hours each week to work with. The obvious question, how do we leverage time? It's actually quite simple. By successfully performing specific actions within the system and then teaching those same actions to others. You may think you're not qualified to teach anything to anyone, but that's not true. If you've just finished completing these action steps first yourself, you are, in fact, perfectly qualified to teach them. Do first, then teach. That's the process. As others follow and copy your actions, you are leveraging yourself through them. As they follow your lead and begin teaching others, you're further leveraging their actions towards reaching your objectives. And as you assist them in reaching their goals, you'll continue to reach more of your own goals. Below this video are two tools to assist you in setting your earning targets. The first is the CFX Matrix Calculator. This is based on a simple 3x3 build strategy. You may enter a withdraw amount at the top of the calculator, then click the Calculate button and you will see your projected matrix earnings from your growing team. Below that is the Unilevel Calculator. Enter trade package amounts to chart your Unilevel earnings as your growing team moves up through the CFX trade package ladder over time. The tools are already built for you. The roadmap has been laid out. The only thing required from you is to start moving forward, to provide the energy and determination to succeed. All right, that's it. Let's go straight to the next thing. Okay. Yeah, I still need to push.
Okay. All right, guys, I want us to look at this unit level income calculator. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, before we go into the looking at the whiteboard, I don't know whether you've seen how our unit level is being calculated. I want us to look at it. Now you see the what we have here. So many people have asked me, do we earn in direct bonuses and so on? You might have seen your back office when somebody signed up $300. Look at the unit level bonus you get. Many of you might have seen $4.5 in your back office. When someone $300 package is activated, you will see yourself under the unit level and 4.5. This is three members. Maybe under you, you have one person sign up, second, third. So the total of these three will earn you 13.5. But most of the time, you may not get three people straight off. But when you see someone that does 300, you see yourself being paid $4.5 under the uni level. And of course, 4.5 on the first level, 30 people on the second level, nine times 4.5, 40.5. On the third level, 27 times 4.5, you see what you have. So as your team is growing <clears throat> to the fourth, level to the fifth level to the sixth level you can see that even uh on the fifth level it's no longer 10 percent it's 20 percent most of the time you must be an executive to earn 20 percent you can see on the fifth level so you can also earn 20 percent but if you are not a ranking officer, you can only earn from level one to level four, 10, 10%. You always see this in our, our marketing plan under uni level. But once you become an executive on the fifth level, they will give you 20%. Now, instead of 4.5, because it's now 20% of $300, you earn $9 on one person that signed up as an executive on the fifth level. If you times that by 243 people in your organization, the fifth level, see what you are, 2,187. So all the people on your fifth level are 243. Now on your sixth level, if you become a manager, you earn 20% and they'll pay you $9, which is 20% of 300. Now if you times $9 by 729 people, see what you will earn under uni level. For those people who don't understand the power that is in building, if you know what some of us that are leaders are earning under uni level, you will be shocked. Then on the seventh level, that is even 5%, which is 2.25, but you have more people as it's going deep down. 2.25 times 2,187, see what you have. When you get to eight level, 2.25 times 6,000, see what you have. 2.25 times 19,683, see what you have. 2.25 times 59,000, see what you have. Now, most of the time, you might even have people that will do $1,000. We are having so many of that. Let's look at what $1,000 will make you on uni level. Look at the first level what you have let's look down look at here 687000 can you see from on the 10th level alone 442000 on the 10th level even though it was 5% <clears throat> and is 7.5 times 59000 442 so can you see the benefit of building a team 
On the fifth level, where there is 20%, 7,000. On the sixth level, 21,000. So down, down like that. <clears throat> so and as more people are believing in CFS, we even have some people doing 5,000, 10,000. Let's look at what 10,000 we have us, although not everybody, there may be big mixture, but just look at 10,000, what you have, 10,000. 10% on one person is 150 times 3, 450. If somebody does $10,000 and on the fifth level, you can earn 20%, see what will come to you, $300. On the sixth level, $300 times it by this number, although all of them cannot do $10,000, $10, but look at what you have, $218,000. So you can see, although in your team, you will not just get 300 people, some people will do 5,000, 2,000, 1,000, 3,000, 10,000, and so on, but you are not going to end the same thing. Just on somebody that does 10,000, the uni level is paying you on the fifth level 300. So you can see how big. Now let's look at it. If everybody does 10,000, which eventually will get to that, this 6 million, 6.8 million. So that's how our uni level changes. So if you have somebody who does 100,000, boom. What do you have? Just look at the 10% coming to you in direct bonuses on, on first level. You are going to earn 1,500, just 10% that is coming to you. And most of the time, very soon now, there will be a lot of renewal package on 100,000. Because once all of us build to $100,000, once we end double, we'll just be renewed. Once we end double, we'll be renewed. So whenever anybody renews his 100,000, even if that person is not your direct, you are going to earn 1,500. But if the person is your direct, if he renews his $100,000 package, your bonus is $15,000 because you have been paid 10% of the 15,000 here. That's why this is 1,500 on that uni level. So once somebody your downline gets to 100K and he gets to renew that 100K whenever he, 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 his contract expires, you are going to earn $15,000. So the bigger it gets, the better it is. Now let's look at the last level, level 10. Look at what you have, 44 million. Are we going to get to there? Yes, guys. Yes. On the fifth level, look at it. This seven twenty nine thousand dollars. We are going to get there because eventually everybody is growing and growing and growing, and we are going to get to many people will be on hundred thousand dollars package. So this is how Unilevel works. It is the reason why we are telling you building a system is the goal. Somebody employ you in the work in your working place to put you in his own system and make you to work in his system so you can build your own system as well. So I'm going to go back to the $300 because a lot of people are used to $300. You might have seen what you earn as Unilevel on $300. Let me go back there. So when somebody does a package in your team, you are paid 4.5 on that Unilevel. So let's go to the white box board now and see now the whiteboard this is it this is you the ceo <clears throat> you have your team like i said if you are building i said this should be your family account one family account two, family account three. So all these should still be your foundation. When the foundation is destroyed, what can the writers do? Foundation is critical. So don't start anyhow. I say if you are a builder, I'm not talking of to, build, to the beer. 
for builders and leaders, you must start with four accounts to control team one, team two, team three. Make sure that these are still part of your account, guys. So what we are saying now is that should you now introduce people here, the moment people are now coming in now, even if they do chili chili hundred dollars, you are going to earn 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5. All of them will give you 4.5, 4.5 as indirect bonuses to all these accounts. Indirect bonuses. You get them as indirect bonuses, but these people will get it as direct bonus. This guy will get all these 4.5 as indirect bonuses. Let's go back and look at that slide now. So nine people, this is it, nine. Nine people, just watch it here. Nine is what I described to you on the board. 4.5 times nine, $40, $40.5. So you get indirect bonuses from all those people. And as the something keeps growing, as it keeps growing on the fourth level from 81 people, on the third level, 27 people. So, and it's getting bigger and bigger. On the fifth level, 2000, 187. Of course, you cannot get everybody in your team that will be chili, 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 hundred dollars. Some will be one thousand, some will be two thousand, some will be five thousand, some will be ten thousand. So that is just it, guys. Uh, for this morning, that's just it. So right now, I'm going back to a, a, a slide. I'm going to make us uh, open up for questions for those who might want to ask questions now, because we must wrap this up in the next 10 minutes. Okay, 15 minutes. So uh, can you unmute yourself, sir? If you have a question, please raise your hand. Mule Timothy is here. Let's have you. Good morning, Pastor. God bless Good you, sir. Amen. Good morning, sir. Yeah, I'm barely one week in this cash uh, FX, and uh, I, I'm making F I, I actually reside here in Port Harcourt, and wow. uh, I, I'm staying. I'm actually spending some time to really get the frequently asked questions, so that uh, I can convince more people. But I, I've I've started registering a lot of people. At least I wow. know I've registered about six people now, and uh, wow. between now and Monday, I have uh, about. Uh, five more people who are awesome. coming in. Yeah, so uh, I'm, I'm actually excited. Uh, so let me ask, uh, it's number one, let me ask this question. Uh, you just uh, spoke about uh, registering three people, I mean, registering your, yourself in four places, maybe your wife, your children and all that. I did three. I did three myself, then my wife and my son. But I register another person again who register another two people. And uh, um, I'm thinking whether I should register another leg again now uh, because I really want to know why, why you are promoting that. That's one. Number two, on this unit level uh, uh, bonuses, are, are you saying that by the time you are able to fill up the nine people under your level one, that is after you're able to uh, directly uh, place people under those three people directly under you that belongs to you. Other people that will be coming. Uh, for example, if I have somebody who's bringing $50,000 and I know that the first bonus of $50,000 is much, uh, are you saying I should go and place them under some of my downline who probably would benefit of that uh, 15%? And that will only benefit from the uni level. Or can I register them directly under myself and allow them spill, spill under my downline so that I can end the 15%? Uh, what would be your advice, sir? 
That's a good question. Now, once you do the first one, you do the first one as the CEO, you only give out three links to the, the CEO account. Your family account one, account two, account three. We only have this link. Nobody will have this link forever. So once you open this account anytime, it will only show three people under this account because these are the three people, one, two, three, period. Don't ever give out this link to anybody forever. Now, is the company saying that this account must have only three? No. This account can have 100. This account can have 100 direct. This account can have 100 direct. We are not saying that we are restricted to reg register three. What we're saying is that if you focus this account on three, it will help you to, to build deep down than just spreading the whole 100. You can actually put this 100 under the three account down, 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 down. But if you have 50,000 account, you can plug in here, 50,000. You can plug in here, 100,000. These are your account. You can use it to spread extra 50,000, 100,000 so that you get the referral. Then the system will spill them down after they pay you your referral bonus. Are you with me, sir? Yeah, I'm listening. I am struggling to get uh, uh, what you're trying to say. That if I if I spread them under the three that are directly under me, how I'm am I spreading the spreading method? Is what what I'm understand. saying here is this three account must be your own account. Is that what you are saying? This account is your account, isn't it? Are you with yeah, me? Yeah, two sir? are presently my account. One, yes, one is not my account, but two are presently my account. If one is not your account, you still have to find a way to plug an account, even if this is outsider. You choose one of the three legs of this person and plug in one account. You must be in control of team one, team two, team three. Reason is that if you need to become an executive in this rank, to rank on this one, this very one. If this man is not going nowhere, he's going to make this leg to be redundant for you. But once you have an account of yours, you concentrate all your effort here to rank this one for you to become anything you want to become on the CEO. You must be in control of the three legs. That is just what we are saying. But the question you ask me is, if you are going to be putting people under your downline and you have someone who wants to do 50,000, if you are the owner of this account, this account, and you already have three here, three here, right? You can still put 50,000 K here to yes, make the fourth. There's nothing wrong. What I'm saying is that once it's your account, I, I have, let me just answer you straight because of our time. I have one of my accounts here, the account that, that is here, that is having about 50 people. There is one that is having about 100 people. But once I plug them in, the system spill them down. So you get what I'm saying. But I will never use this, this first okay. link. This is the one I will never plug in anybody. I can plug 100 people under this, under this, or under this. I can plug 100. I can have 100 direct under these three accounts. It doesn't matter. But you know what? The system will only retain three. Once you plug them, you take the referral bonus. The system will not allow this account to have more than three. It's peeling it down under this man. But you will get your referral bonus by registering them direct under this. I hope you got my explanation. Uh, yeah, I got your explanation now. Okay, I'm seeing that. I didn't know that you are using something to explain, but I've seen it now. So what oh, you are saying is that this third guy... I, I, I didn't know that you were using the screen, but I've seen the screen now. It's, uh, it's more explicit now. Okay. So that's so what, what you are saying. So what you are saying now is that that third one that I've registered one person, because I registered one person with $1,000 for the third one, and that person now, so what, 
what you are saying is I should try and uh, quickly register uh, one of my leg, the third leg under Reg it, right? Register one account under that that person's leg to control team three. You must be in control of your three teams. That's what we are saying. If you are you are a builder who has a vision, don't depend on any leader to take you to your destination. Don't depend on any okay. leader in your team to take you to your destination. Put control in the three legs. You can build. Let me let me just quickly tell you the way the structure of cash FS is. If this is you, if you are you are able to create executive here, of course, executive can can come out. It's just I'm I'm watching my time. If you have executive here, they will count this one for team one. Now, for you to be a manager, you need to have an executive also on this leg. Anywhere it falls, you must have an executive here. Now, if this leg is not you, it's an outsider, and this person has plugged in, but this person is not having a vision to become anything. And for you to be a manager, you need one executive in team one, one executive in team two and you don't have control over this leg, this person will never allow you to become a manager in cash FS forever. Because you are not in control. All these people are outside. And this person is not, he doesn't want to build. Maybe he just want to make some money, just enjoying the trading of cash FS. So what you do is that once you are in control, you focus on the leg that you have there to turn this to executive, this to executive, then you come a manager. If you need to become a director, you turn this to manager, you turn this to manager, you become a director. If you need to be president, you turn this to director, director, and come out president. That's what we mean by control. That, that, so, that, that is perfect. Thank you so, thank you, you, you so don't much. depend it's on very... anybody. Uh, that uh, when this person becomes executive, that's when I will become manager. No, nobody determines your pace if you are in control of your three legs. Thank you, sir. That is it. So let me quickly that take some other questions now because we must start by 11.15 because of the newbies coming in. So on Jagu. Can you omit yourself? I don't know how to pronounce your name. His name is so long. Ogene Ogbobo. Can you omit yourself? Michael, please omit yourself. We don't have time. We are landing up now. Mr. Michael, please omit yourself. Tina. Yeah, good morning, Pastor Mike and the house. Good morning, sir. A quick one. Right. Yes, a quick one. I am very, very happy to be in this family. In fact, because of time, I won't be able to say much, but what I want to say is that I'm happy that I'm in this family. This family. So, and um, this uh, leadership training that you are giving to us is opening my eyes mind is opening my mind like i told you the that time i made a mistake by giving my 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 what they call it the first uh, um leg out but i'm thanking god that that person i've not registered is still delaying so by the time i'm done i'm working towards something by the time i'm done i will tell him that well that line don't want to use that line that one is gone then i will now control my three lines my three legs so that's what I'm doing. So I appreciate you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. That's the, that's the thing. Once you have the knowledge of what to do, you go ahead and do it. That's it. Prepare your ground very well because uh, the scripture says the foundation is destroyed. What can the righteous do? It means that the foundation is very also important for vision. If you have vision, the next important thing is foundation. I wouldn't have been a director today if not because I understood how to control my four account. So yes. that's it. because no, I was able to, 
to be in control of the three legs. So no, no leaders in my organization can hold me down or yeah. can go slow. If you go slow, it doesn't stop me. <laughs> yeah, this business overtaking is allowed. Of course, I go with speed. So that's it. Thank you, Thank sir. you very much. God yeah. bless you. Amen. Tina, let's have you, Tina. Good morning, Pastor Mike. Good morning, Tina. How are you doing? Fine, thank you, sir. All right, Please. let's go. My question is on the uni, uni level, uh, the indirect bonus. Is it different from the 15% the, the or referral bonus? Or what can one end it to? So because uh, you were talking about 10% on the uni level, is it different? Can I still end the 15% on the direct you know, having the control account, those people that are under, can I still earn the fifteen percent on each of them, and at the same time as uh, the ten percent? In our business, you earn referral bonus, you earn unit level bonus, you earn matrix bonus. So they are different. All of them are for you. Referrals, the fifteen percent is a referral. Once you plug in somebody direct, that's fifteen percent. Once it is indirect, it is not the 15%. <clears throat> That's where you earn the 5%. Okay. I mean, Thank you, you earn 10%, rather, 10%. Okay, sir. Okay. Yeah, Thank so you. we have direct bonuses, we have indirect bonuses. That is the one that your downline now bring into the company. If we earn the referral, you will still earn indirect on the person they bring. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. Ola Dipo. Ola Dipo. Please unmute yourself. Good morning, Pastor Analaja. Morning, sir. Yes, I'm fine, sir. I'm fine, sir. How are you, sir? I'm, I'm fine. Let's, yeah. let's, let's go. The question is just few questions. Um, if I able to get myself registered and I need to register for my family members, I'm fully aware that they may not be able to really get underlying as in under the line. But I can as well try as much as possible to get few people under my line. My question is, how would their own count on increasing level as to make me executive or Anything I earn, I can always plug them as in attach those ones under them. That's the first question. Is that question? Is, I, I, I know did, of this. I, I um, didn't get the first question, sir. I didn't get you. Okay, the first question is this. If I get myself registered and I have my two kids registered, my wife registered, no, no, you be that I'm, less than 18 I years. Can get, of course, my kids are less than 18 years. They must not be less than 18 and years. And my wife... Okay, now let me assume I registered my wife. I've registered. Then I can add other people to her and myself. I'm knowing fully well that uh, in our own case, if she doesn't have any other people to add to it, my question is, how would I get to executive or how would she also get to that executive manager? That is number one. Number two, is there any time of exit, for example, if I felt, okay, I've grown to this level which suits my desire, can I exit? What is the exit plan? Or it's just an entire lifespan yes, thing. Like no exit. Because of our time, yeah. if you are thinking the way you are thinking and you are asking that kind of question, let me ask you this question. Do you work? At the moment, yes, I work. Okay, good. The, the, the first question you ask is that if you put your wife and there's no other person again, how will you become executive? Let me ask you, if you don't go to work, how will you collect salary? Of course, there's no way. There's no work, there's no salary. Okay, so if you put your wife and there's nobody that you put again, you cannot become executive. That's not my question. My question not is if there's nobody to add on if, they, if I can get more people to add, but she cannot add, how do I become executive? That's the question. It's the same, it's the same thing. What you need okay. to understand about the principle we are teaching, 
In fact, the first three people we are telling you sign up. We are not saying they, they are doing cash affairs. I have my account here. I'm the CEO of my organization, right? Okay. These people I put, my wife, my son, my daughter, they are all 18 years of age, which agrees with okay. the company's rule. But they are okay. not doing cash affairs. I am the one wow. that is doing this account as the same is, is going to the same account. All the money is going to my account. This account, oh. this account, this account, this account. They are going to my account. They are using okay. the same my Google Authenticator. They are all in my Gmail account. These four accounts are in my Gmail account. It's solely controlled by me. Why Cash FS said we should use family name? It's not because they are running Cash FS. It's that they don't want you to use your name in four places. Right? Okay. They don't want you. But you want to have, because they know that there are a lot of people who do multiple accounts in multi-level marketing. But we are dealing with finances. Okay. The law does not allow Michael or not like that to be in, in five places or 10 places. If they ask us to do KYC, we will run into trouble. So the yeah. company said, technically, if you know you want to control more than one account, use the account of people that if they call for KYC tomorrow, my wife can provide information to do KYC. My son can, my daughter can, if they call for KYC. That's true. Can okay, you understand? Under the law, well. because of the kind of the nature of our business, we must not have multiple names as account. So you that's, are asking now right. if you put your wife and you, you now do not have anybody to put on that this. You, how do, would you turn this to executive? It's like telling me that if I don't go to work, how do I pay salary? You, you know, when I taught you this practical, I first taught you principle. And in the yep. principle, I tell you that you must put in the work. Don't ask me if I don't work, how do I get paid? No, life is about agreement. If you work, you get paid. If I don't go to work, I don't get salary. If I want to get salary, then I must do the work. Everything you That's see right. in this life is all about principle. That's why I'm telling people that success is predictable. Let nobody come and say, I don't know how to make money. If you work, you make money. If you don't work, no money, period. So that's why I'm exposing everybody to what is expected of you. Nobody will come to me now, Pastor Mike, and say, sir, do you know what? You can make million, but you don't need to do anything. There is no such thing in life. There is sure. no such thing. You must do something. So the only thing is that we know you can mm -hmm. invest. Yes, of course. In this company, you can invest without doing anything. But you don't make the kind of money the people that are working are making. Sure you get it? Yeah. All right, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. So, guys, um, I think that's where I want to stop. It's about 11.15. A lot of people are plugging in now because we ask people to write out their names once they come into the room. So you permit me, I'm, I'm, put, I'm uh, signing up the YouTube page. I'm signing up the YouTube page because we always document all our leadership training on YouTube. We have been streaming live on YouTube, but I'm going to stop that. So all